Today I'm cutting and arranging flowers to decorate an Easter table. In the garden, the first seasonal flowers are coming through now. It's been a cold start to the spring, so everything's a little bit slower to bloom than usual, and all the more welcome for it. The Easter holidays are a great time to have a bit of fun by bringing flowers indoors to decorate your home. So I start by placing my vases sporadically down the table and filling them with water. In the shallower vessels, I have some small pin holders to support the stems. This snake's head fritillary has an amazing checkerboard pattern and I insert the stems onto the pin holder to keep them in place. I gently cover the mechanics with a loose moss base. This spirea has beautifully fine and scratchy stems with fiery red leaves. Again, using a Kenzen in the base, I create a light foliage base by cutting the woody stems at varying lengths and inserting them onto the pin holder. Little twigs of cherry blossom come next with sugary pink flowers, which are such a lovely contrast, I think, in among the nest of red foliage. I let the blossom branches arch up out of the leafy base so that we can see their wonderfully wiggly shapes and their bronze leaves. Another fritillary, this time Fox's Grape, which has an extraordinary grey mauve flower tipped with a mustard yellow. I make this in the same way as my first arrangement, in a ceramic goblet with a pin holder in the base, and then a little moss to cover. One single stem of Fritillaria imperialis. She doesn't like to share much, so she's allowed to stand alone. For my next arrangement, I'm using a small ceramic tumbler with a ball of chicken wire inside to support the stems. I tuck some anemone blander in low down. They've got very tiny, short, skinny little stems. And then a few varieties of Narcissus. We love this one, Minnow, which is tiny and such a cheerful little chap. A sprinkling of candles and we usually have a mix of varying heights. Um, it's always nice to have some low level votives as well, close to the tabletop. And one last addition, a single little pop of red to make all the colors sing together. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and happy Easter.